Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you this amazing Karvachot makeup look. And I have used all warm shades and I think this look is absolutely appropriate for any Indian outfit. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to use this Milani Eyebrow Pomade in the shade 05 Deep Brown and I'm just filling up my eyebrows. I'm just outlining it first, then I'll be filling up all the gaps and sparse areas. Now with the spoolie, I'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Medium Beige and with a concealer brush, I'm just cleaning up the borders. Now with my finger I'm just blending the concealer and I applied concealer on my eyelids as well to prime them for eyeshadow application. Now I'm using this Oriflame loose powder and I'm just setting the concealer. I quickly applied some sticky tapes to get that sharp edge. Now I'm taking this brown shade from my Milani Pure Passion eyeshadow palette and with a fluffier brush I'm just applying it on my crease sorry just above my crease to create a nice transition I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation now I'm taking this deep rust color from the same palette and with this elf brush I'm just applying it on my crease this is a very nice brush and it fits on my crease so well and it just makes everything easier now you do not have to use the same palette you just have to use similar colors from different palette as well to create the similar look now with a blending brush I'm just blending everything out so that there is no harsh edge now I'm taking this deep brown shadow from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my outer V area this eyeshadow is a little bit patchy only this shade seems to be a patchy other than that this is a very nice eyeshadow palette so I'm just blending it in through my crease halfway I'm not blending it all the way to my inner corners as you can see doing me here with a blending brush I'm just blending everything out again Now I'm taking this beautiful foil eyeshadow. This is a very nice maroonish or canberry color and I'm just applying it on the inner third area of my eyelid. I felt that this eyeshadow works really nice with fingers so I just went ahead and applied it with my fingers now I'm taking this brown shade and I'm just applying it between the foil eyeshadow and the deep brown eyeshadow to create a nice and smooth transition I'm taking the same crease color and I'm just deepening up my crease 
once more the eye makeup is almost done now I will do my face makeup and I will return to my eye makeup again I'm taking this elf poreless primer and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck I already moisturized my face half an hour ago so I'm not moisturizing my face again but you should moisturize up your face before applying any makeup always apply primer on your neck as well because your foundation needs something to stick on now I'm taking these two color characters orange and yellow characters from LA girl and I'm just mixing it and applying it under my eyes around my nose around my mouth and wherever I have pigmentation and acne spot now I'm just blending everything out with my damp beauty sponge this is real techniques beauty sponge if you are looking for a good drugstore sponge this can be a really great option I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the shade 140 Golden Beige and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck and I'm going to blend it out with the same beauty sponge. All my foundations are lighter right now because I have been to a beach holiday recently and I am super tanned right now. You can watch my shoulders. I mean, I'm super tanned, yes. Now for highlighting and concealing I'm using the same wet and wild concealer and I'm applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on the bridge of my nose around my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next and I'm again blending everything out with the same beauty sponge Highlighting just instantly brightens up your face and gives it a very nice dimension. I always blend out my under eye concealer later because I feel this way it gets more time to settle down and it gives better coverage. Now for setting my whole face, I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte Compact Powder in the shade Nude Beige and with the same beauty sponge, I'm just setting my concealed area. Now with a fluffier powder brush, I'm setting my face and neck. For cream contouring, I'm using this Wet and Wild Contour Stick in the shade Fairies Walnut and I'm just contouring the usual places like forehead, hollows of my cheeks, chin and my nose. This is a really nice cool toned contour stick. I just love this contour stick to contour my face. Now again I'm just blending everything out with the same beauty sponge and again I'm using a tapping motion. Now I'm taking the contour shade from my Maybelline Master Contour Palette and I'm just setting my contour area with it. Don't worry if it looks a little harsh right now. It will be all set once it is blended. And I'm taking the blush from the same palette and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheese and blending it out with my contour. Now I'm cutting my contour using the same Rimmel powder so that my contour looks little sharp. I'm using this wet and wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals and I'm just applying it on my cheekbone chin, 
cupid bow the bridge of my nose and on my forehead this is my elf highlighting brush and this brush is awesome now i'm finishing my eye makeup first i'm highlighting my brow bones using the same wet and wild highlighter Now I'm taking the deep brown shade from the same palette that I applied on my outer V area and I'm just applying it on the outer third area of my lower lash line. And I'm applying the Canberry shade, the foil, foil shade and I'm just applying it on the inner third area of my eyes. Now for tight lining, I'm using this Essence Kajal and I'm applying it on my lower waterline. And I will also be tight lining with it. With the same highlighter, I'm just highlighting my inner corners. Now I'm taking this L'Oreal highlighter in carbon black and I'm just creating a nice thick wing here. Now I'm coating my upper and lower lashes with this Maybelline Colossal Eyeliner, sorry, uh, mascara, yes, mascara. I'm quickly applying some falsies here. And I'm just applying the same eyeliner to hide the lash band. For my lipstick, I'm using this Wet n Wild Megalas lipstick in the shade Spotlight Red. And I'm just setting my makeup using this L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm just bouncing my Beauty Blender so that everything is nice and blended. I felt that this lipstick is too red for this look so I went ahead and applied this wet and wild cat shoot lipstick in the shade Kibi Mocha to give it a nice maroonish undertone it's perfect right now so here is the final look I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please check that out. See you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.